Hi everybody. So for our math lesson today, ooh, my bench is a little squeaky. For our math lesson today, we're going to be talking about patterns. Now we've talked about patterns before. Patterns are things that repeat. So like in our calendar board that we do, when we try to guess what color comes next, when we go green, purple, yellow, orange, blue, yellow. We're trying to figure out what color comes next because it follows a pattern. So I've got a paper that I have made for us that we're gonna go over patterns. Now this is a review. We have gone over patterns before, so it should be familiar to us. So a pattern, it has to have at least two different things in it, or it could have up to a hundred different things. It just depends on what you wanna make your pattern. So I made some patterns here on my board. So my first pattern I've got is some colors, is some colors. Do you know what color that is that I'm pointing to right there? Do you know what color that is? Red. What about the color that comes after it? What color is that? Do you know what color that is? Orange. So my pattern, say it with me, we've got red, orange, red, orange, red, orange. What color do you think comes after orange? Look in my pattern. What color should come next after my orange? What color do you think? Hmm. Think about it. Red, orange, red, orange, red, orange. Red, so I'm gonna take my marker and I'm gonna put red there because red would come next in our pattern. All right, let me show you our next pattern. So our next pattern below it, we're still working with colors. What color is that? What color is that? Blue. What color is that? Green. So we've got blue and green. So say the pattern with me. Here we go. Blue, green. Blue, green. Blue, green. What color comes after green? Do you know? What color comes after green? Look back in our pattern, let's say it again. Blue, green, blue, green, blue, green. Blue comes next, so we're gonna put a blue. It wouldn't make much sense if I said purple because nowhere in here did I ever use purple. Or it wouldn't make sense if I said yellow because nowhere in here did I use yellow. I've only been using blue and green. But it wouldn't make sense to say green either because that would be green, green. Well, nowhere in my pattern has it had two greens in a row, so it would be blue. So let me put our blue on there. And a pattern, it can be all sorts of things. It doesn't have to just be colors. So I made some other patterns too. I made one with flowers and one with smiley faces. So let's try to see if we can figure out what picture goes here. All right, so we've got flower and smiley face, okay? So say it with me, are you ready? Flower, smiley face, flower, smiley face, flower, smiley face. What comes after smiley face? What comes after smiley face? Do you know? Let's look, look, let's look up back at our pattern just to make sure, okay? Let's say it one more time. Flower, smiley face. Flower, smiley face. Flower, smiley face. What would be here? Flower, so let me put flower on there. It wouldn't make much sense if we said puppy dog because nowhere in here did we use puppy dog. Or it wouldn't make much sense if we said tree because there's nowhere in here that we used a tree. 
And it wouldn't be smiley face either because that would be smiley face, smiley face. Nowhere in our pattern did it have two smiley faces together. So it would be a flower. All right, I've got one more pattern for us and then you are gonna get to do it yourself and you're gonna get to make a pattern yourself too. Okay, so my last one. I did it with shapes. Now I told you it can be anything for a pattern. It could be colors, it could be numbers, it could be letters, it could be pictures, it can be anything. It just has to repeat. Repeat means it happened again. So let's look at our pattern. We've got, this one's got shapes. Does anyone know what shape that is? Do you know what shape that is? It is the color orange. Do you know what shape it is? It's a triangle. And what about this one? What shape is that? It is blue. What shape is it? A square. So we've got triangles and squares for this pattern. All right, can you say it with me? Here we go. Triangle, square. Triangle, square. Triangle, square. Hmm. What comes after square? Do you know? What comes after square? Look back in the pattern if you can figure out what comes after square. Let's double check it. Let's go back to the front. Let's do it. Say it with me. Triangle, square. Triangle, square. Triangle, square. What is it? What came after it? Triangle. So I'm going to put my triangle on there. It wouldn't make much sense if we said circle, because there's no circles in here. Or if we said hedgehog, that wouldn't make much sense. We never used hedgehog in here. So we're only sticking to our ones that are in our patterns. And it wouldn't make much sense if we said square either, because there's not two squares together. They're separated. They've got a triangle in between them. They're not together. They got this triangle here. So our next shape would be triangle. So let me put it on there. All right, you guys did so good. And what we are going to do is I'm gonna post an activity on the Google Classroom and you need to finish my pattern. I'm gonna have ones just like this where it's two different things repeating and you gotta figure out what comes next. And then I'm gonna have some where you gotta figure out what comes next and then what comes after that too, because I gotta keep my pattern going. I forgot what comes next. You gotta help me out. You gotta tell me what comes next, okay? And then at the bottom of your paper, what I want you to do is I want you to make your own pattern with whatever you want. But remember, it has to be repeating. There has to be a flower and then a puppy dog and then a flower and then a puppy dog or a pillow and then a blanket, a pillow, and then a blanket. It has to repeat itself over and over and over again, okay? All right, guys, you did so good today. I miss you and I love you all. Bye, see you next time.